Okay, so for this video, what I'm going to do is show how many of the online sources that we rely on are not reliable. And I'm going to show this by showing how many of these so-called reliable sources incorrectly state that the daily fast for Ramadan begins at sunrise instead of at dawn. Now, why is this important? Well, for many American convert Muslims, they may not go to the mosque before they practice an Islamic practice. We have the internet now. They may not start to hang out with other Muslims before they start to practice an Islamic practice. They may not end up becoming part of an Islamic community before they start to practice an Islamic practice. And a lot of the information that they have may be incorrect based on so-called reliable sources that they accidentally learned from, learned about Islam from, and they don't even know it. So for example, they may have learned from a source, and I'm going to show you many sources, where it says that the daily Ramadan fast begins at sunrise. So this information just goes into that person's memory bank. And then when he or she becomes Muslim, he or she may just assume that the daily Ramadan fast begins at sunrise. And that's what they end up doing. Maybe. Not all American convert Muslims do this. But even if it's just one, that's one too many. So to begin, what I want to first share is how the Quran clearly says that the daily Ramadan fast begins at dawn. You can go ahead and go look that up yourself, but it's Quran chapter 2, verse 187. So the first source, Wikipedia. So we all know we cannot rely on Wikipedia, but we all know that many of us do. Many of us go to Wikipedia just to understand a specific subject, just the general understanding of a specific subject. And we wouldn't even think twice on how something like when does the daily Ramadan fast begins is wrong. We wouldn't even think twice. It's very simple. Dawn, not sunrise. But guess what? Wikipedia in regards to Ramadan gets it wrong. It states sunrise. Okay, Wikipedia, fine. We understand. Don't rely on Wikipedia. Okay, then I thought, okay, what about a news source? Many of us, especially if you're into watching the news, get our information from news sources. So I went to Fox News, and guess what? They got it wrong. And I thought, okay, what about the opposite of Fox News? As an American, when you think of the opposite of Fox News, you think of a news organization like CNN. And CNN got it wrong. Sunrise. And even worse, this article states they can eat before sunrise. This is sort of saying that they can eat during dawn, which is clearly against the Quran. But okay, I thought, let me give these new sources the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they think dawn is part of sunrise. Then I went and I found The Guardian. 
And what's interesting about this article is that they got it wrong at first. And then someone called them out on it and then they corrected it. Let me show you, it's all the way at the bottom. That's usually where they put things that they correct. So this is what it states. This article was amended on 18 June, 2015. References to sunrise in an earlier version have been changed to dawn. To clarify that fasting during Ramadan begins at dawn, the beginning of the twilight before sunrise, and not at sunrise when the sun appears above the horizon. Someone called them on it, and to their credit, they corrected it. But how many people saw the article when it was not correct? And then I saw this right at the bottom after I read that. Millions rely on The Guardian. Now, I'm not saying millions read this article, but millions is a lot of people. And a lot of people probably saw the incorrect version. Fine. They corrected it. That's awesome. That's what they should do. But that shows that the source is not reliable. So I thought, okay, what about an almanac? So I went to the old farmer's almanac. And what's interesting about this is just a few days ago, this right here stated dawn. I'm sorry, it stated sunrise. And I thought, now it says dawn. So I saw this a few days ago and it said sunrise. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna use it in this video. And then when I went back to this same source, the same article, it's now dawn. And I thought, they changed that. They changed it. I know they changed it. And come to find out, they did change it. They changed it right after I saw it. So someone called them out on it. So I saw it probably, I think, April 10th or 9th. And it probably took them No, that's the wrong one. Sorry. I saw that. That's why the date didn't make sense. I saw it on April 9th or 10th, and this person submitted that they were wrong on the 7th. So it probably took them a few days to correct it. And this person, Abu Imam, took the time and submitted to the almanac and said, look, you are wrong. So the title of it is Dawn to Sunset, not from Sunrise to Sunset. And my man, Abu Iman, which might not even be his real name, says, this is the prestigious Farmer's Almanac, but editors have made the common and ubiquitous mistake of saying Muslims fast from sunrise. So he knows it's a common mistake. And then he says, no, it's from dawn, which is earlier than sunrise. And then the editors wrote back, thank you for bringing that to our attention. We have corrected the article. It's awesome that they corrected it, but it shows that the source is not reliable. So I thought, okay, what is another source another organization where the experts are experts in a specific field. And I thought of the Pew Research Center. And they are experts in surveys, stats, and so on. But guess what? They said sunrise. They got it wrong. In the very first sentence, they got it wrong. So for me, it makes me think, are their stats even right? Probably, most likely. But if they're going to talk about something that's not in their field, they need to double check, at least in my opinion. 
that's what I think they should do. Then I thought, okay, let me find another source where they have an expertise in. Just so you know, a banner pops up across these right here and I cannot click them when it's on there. Okay, there it goes, it disappeared. So I went to the National Library of Medicine and I chose it because it is a .gov. And just on accident, you think a .gov will be a little bit more reliable. And guess what? They got it wrong. And this is in the first sentence too, right in the introduction. So they are probably experts in biotechnology information. I don't know. I know nothing about biotechnology information, but they are not experts in when the daily Ramadan fast begins. They got it wrong. So the source is not reliable. Again, just to reiterate, this is important because a lot of new American converts have these articles in the back of their minds and they have incorrect information in their memory bank. So let's go to the next source, which is banner popped up again. Just give me a second. The White House. So whitehouse.gov right now is President Biden's. Now, I went to the current one and there was nothing for President Biden because he's our new president. And then I went to Google and tried to find something in regards to Trump and Ramadan and fasting. And I only looked around for maybe 30 seconds, a minute, and I couldn't find anything. So I went and found something for Obama. And guess what? The Obama White House archives gov has it wrong. Sunrise. They have it wrong. And they even embellish it. Then finally, after a 16-hour day of fasting since sunrise, it's wrong. Guests gathered in the state dining room for a halal meal with the president. So they use halal. Man, they must know what they're talking about. Nope, they got it wrong. And as this says, what does it say? This will be frozen in time. Interesting. But anyways, the whitehouse.gov is not a reliable source. And then the next source, the banner popped up again. You can't see the banner, but I can. Is Harvard. So I thought, okay, all these sources are getting it wrong. So what about the higher educational institutions, colleges, universities? And I thought, who's going to get it right if it's not going to be Harvard? So I will give them the benefit of the doubt and say this is the news that is supported by harvard.edu, but it's still harvard.edu. And I thought, they're going to get it right. And guess what? Sunrise, they got it wrong. And I thought, man. And then I thought of something else connected to Harvard, which is the Pluralism Project. And the reason I looked at this is because I know a lot of interfaith groups rely on the Pluralism Project. A lot of seminaries, a lot of theological schools use a lot of information from the Pluralism Project. But guess what? They got it wrong, Sunrise. And I just went to their 
basic Islamic practices part of the website. And they said, sunrise, not a reliable source. Then I thought, okay, let me go to a website that is connected to a mosque. And I randomly typed in something in Google and Islamic Association of Raleigh popped up. And guess what? They got it right. Dawn. The first one I went to got it right. And I thought, is that a coincidence? Interesting. So that's on the East Coast. So I thought, okay, let me go all the way to the West Coast and randomly pick a mosque. And I chose Islamic Center of Southern California. Now, this is not even about Ramadan. It's the health benefits of fasting. So it's sort of like that news article that's connected to Harvard. This article is connected to this mosque. And guess what? They got it right. So the first two that I picked just randomly got it right. Then I thought, okay, let me go in between the East Coast and the West Coast. And I just went to Texas and I went to Islamic Association, North Texas. And guess what? They got it right, Dawn. So it made me really think, man, when you get closer to the mosque, you get closer to people who actually practice or experts in their religion, whether we agree with all the things they do and all the things they believe, where Muslims do disagree with each other, they are a more reliable people. They are more reliable. Their sources are more reliable. That's what I have determined. Now, I am not saying that you should rely on a website connected to a mosque. Rather, this whole video is to simply say rely on no one except God and yourself. And that's all I wanted to share. Peace and love.